Hi, today I'm going to show you how to receive an invoice and a shipment in purchase order processing in Microsoft Dynamics GP. I'm going to receive a real invoice on a real purchase order in my own personal system. So, what I meant, I'm already logged in as the database Smith & Allen Consulting. So, I'm going to do an actual receipt. So, in the purchasing series under Receivings Transaction Entry, I'm going to change the type from shipment to shipment and invoice because I'm receiving both at the same time. Once I tab past that, I get a receipt number, and the receipt number is just a unique identifier to distinguish one receipt from the next. And then I'll enter in the invoice number under my vendor document number. And then I'll enter in the invoice date under the date. Now I'm going to post this transaction immediately, so I'm not going to put it in a batch, but I will enter in my vendor, and my vendor ID is Quill. And I'm going to do a lookup on the purchase order number and I'll see all outstanding purchase orders for my vendor Quill. Now I'll select the purchase order that's out there and I could click on the lookup for the vendor item number and see all the items on that purchase order. Another way I could have selected the purchase order is to click auto receive at the top and then select which items on which purchase orders I want. So I've selected supplies, but the actual invoice is a penny different than the purchase order, so I'm going to enter in the actual amount of the invoice. I'm going to open up my distribution window to verify that the right account number is used and I am expensing in this case my fixed allocation account for supply so that's correct so I'll click OK. Now, oh, I can also change the ven uh, reference in the general ledger transaction entry window right here if I want to but I'll let this one default. Click OK and post. And once I close the window out the posting process will begin. So now it should be posted in my payables transaction module. Now, one thing that you might want to run on a regular basis is this remove completed purchase orders. It's under routines. And what this does is you select a range of purchase orders and you click on process and it moves all of the completely received purchase orders, which are called completed or canceled purchase orders, from open status to history. So it makes inquiries a little bit easier. Speaking of inquiries, let's go to an inquiry by vendor transaction. We'll unmark history and we'll pull up Quill to see if our invoice is out there. And indeed it is, plus another one. We'll highlight the invoice we just entered and drill down on document number. And what you're going to see is the purchase order receiving uh, transaction inquiry zone. So we can see where the orig uh, invoice originated. Purchase order is pretty easy to use, so I hope you're using it. Hope this helps. Thanks.